Hi everyone, this is D with D's Divine Tarot 411, and today we're going to go ahead with the Celtic cross reading for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, I wanted to go to the beach, like I have been going to the beach for all these other readings and, you know, giving some beautiful <laughs> backdrop, <laughs> but we still got beautiful scenery here, it's raining, so we're just going to jump into your reading, I'll get to shuffling, but thank y'all for chiming in tuning in with me as I chime in for you with spirit and get clarity, insight, and guidance. So spirit, thank you so much for another beautiful day in your place, the creator's place that you made for us to have heaven on earth if we so choose or to have hell on earth if we so choose or a mix of both because it's all about learning and it's all about our soul growth and where we're at at this time in our lives. So what I realize, y'all, is life is actually perfect. You know how life is actually perfect? Life is perfect in its possibilities. So as long as there's possibility, life is perfect because anything can happen. Anything can be changed. Anything can be corrected. Anything can be made right. So life is perfect in its possibilities. Might have to do a book or a song called that. <laughs> I am going to get back to making music here soon for you guys. We shall see when and where and how, but it's calling me. Sometimes spirit calls you. You might take a break from something. I don't like to do anything like all the time unless it's like my main thing I do, but then I like to take breaks and I like to try other things. So very, very interested in a lot of different things and I like to try new things. So we're just going to get going in your reading. Spirit, please give us clarity, insight, and guidance on this rainy, beautiful day. I love how this rain sounds. Thank you for the rain during this reading. It's a rainy reading. <laughs> Sometimes rain is cleansing, it's purifying, it's it's a blessing, you know. It's like washing away what needs to be washed away, replenishing, you know, giving hydration to the thirsty. <laughs> So, Spirit, please give us clarity in Virgo's reading, clarity, insight, and guidance. And once we get a, a clear flush, then we're good to go. That was just about right, but a little bit more flush. How about that, Spirit? That was perfect. All right, so we're going to have Spirit cut the cards, give it to us where you want it. We trust you in all things, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Creator. And now we're going to deal. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six. And so I don't have a table. I'm on a windowsill here. So we're just going to do it as we do it. We don't need the spread, but I will show you the cards. Bottom of the deck card. Huh. Page of Cups. So this is this reading could be about a young one around you. This is an offer of love. So this could be your daughter, your son, um, could be a nephew, niece, cousin. All in all, could be a young one around you or someone offering you a cup of love, innocent cup of love, and they just want to be around you and spend time with you and give you loving emotions. Okay, usually this is a, a child. You know, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. I'm going to do my process. One. No other way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Is that correct? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. We're ready to do it. Virgo. So we're going to get right into your reading. First card out the gate. Whoa! <laughs> the Excalibur sword. Sword of truth. So you are doing it. This is I haven't seen this in a while. 
this is the sword of truth. So this is God on your side. Maybe something is going to be made right that was wrong. This is like a justice sword. This is the top sword you can get in the whole deck. And this is like a superhero power of the deck, tarot deck. This is being super clear, super keen, K-E-E-N in your thoughts and in your perceptions and just seeing what you need to see in the moment. You could be like handling a big project and it just goes so smoothly and everybody's impressed because you see all the details and what needs to be seen, needs to be seen and shown. Or maybe it's a case, a legal case, you're a lawyer or you're a defendant and you're like able to prove that you're innocent, something like that. This is that kind of power where God is on your side and taking like a leap forward for you with this true sword. This is also like, I call it the Excalibur sword or that sword in a stone that only you can pull out because you're the only one who have that power. So go right ahead, y'all. This is beautiful to get Virgos. Like I said, I haven't seen many people pull this card in a while. The sword of truth is on your side. It's like having God on your side with the truth on your side. You can't beat that. Next card we got. <laughs> this is why you needed this. Spirit is proven. This is a sucker MC in your life, a shyster. And this truth is going to reveal everything you need to know about this trickster. So when you get this fool, he's going to be cunning. He's going to be slick. He's coming at all sides. You can't see where he's setting you up. He's very like your friend in your face and then shanking you on your back, shanking you on your back when you ain't looking. You don't know where the shanks is coming from. You're like, Damn, what? Like mosquitoes. Where's this mosquito? Like, I've been getting toe up. I don't know if y'all can see these mosquitoes. They they love me. Like, I got them all over. So do the puppy. Like, I'm like, man, we got to stay in the house, buddy. <laughs> we getting toe up. So I guess they love my blood type. But yeah, this is the sort of truth to chop this fool down. He don't deserve you. And now he's being exposed. Got to give you that sort of truth. You're very clear. So this fool don't stand a chance. He don't see you, see him. He trying to sneak away and be slick, but you see him for who he is, and you ain't playing. This sword will chop all those seven swords down he got. He ain't got no power in the game. So we're going to move on. Next card we got, Virgo. This is your card, the Virgo card. So this is the Hermit, and it looks like you just need a timeout, spiritual timeout. This dude probably got you text and ready to lay back. You need to go ahead and get your spiritual like connection back in line get in alignment with yourself get back centered get back collected because this is a beautiful card and spiritual hibernation that's needed so you can go ahead and feel the way you're supposed to feel these people are draining they're energy vampires they take and take and take and take until there's nothing left to take of you and then you have to take these spiritual timeouts you done gave that fool too much of you now it's time to give back to yourself this could be someone at work causing problems for you. This could be someone, you know, that you love and your family or your lover or your ex causing problems for you. So you need to disconnect from this fool and give you the time now. Give yourself solitude, peace of mind, meditation, and connect with your inner and higher most self and spirit, the divine, and your guardian angels and give that time to yourself and them. And you'll get the downloads, the spiritual downloads that is necessary in this situation. Looks like that's what you're doing, or maybe you already did. This is how you're going to get this true sword or got the true sword, and you wield it however you need be. Because this is a true power from the hand of the, of the divine to knock down any foolishness anytime you need to. Next card we got. Wow! So you got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Ace of Swords, and you got the Hermit. These are all Major Arcana, and this is, these are both Major Arcana, and this is the Super Sword. <laughs> the <laughs> this is the Super Sword of God. So, yeah, you got, like, beautiful energy around you for some time to come. This is the Wheel of Fortune, so this is all about, it's your time. When you get the Wheel of Fortune, it's your time. So it's your time down here like the Goonies. You ain't going up in Troy's bucket. 
you're about to have the time of your life because life is showing you it's your time. Like, it's like hitting blackjack when you finally hit that number or the lotto, you've been playing that number for so long and it finally hit. That's this in your life, in your spirit, in your heart, how you feel. This is how you feel. Like, this, the wheel of fortune is spinning on you. And it's like, I'm a winner. <laughs> I'm a straight up winner. And life shows you that. So you can't lose with all this. Once you take this spiritual time out, this is what's going to be. The truth is going to reign supreme. And you'll get the life that you deserve and that spirit wants to bring to you right now after this time out. Go right ahead, y'all. How beautiful. Next card we got. <laughs> the Magical Magician. Look at these powerful cards. Major Arcana cards. Now you got this one. So once you come off of this time out, you're going to be super magical. You're going to have the sword of truth in your hand. And destiny is on your side. <laughs> you are amazing, Virgo. This is a superhero right here. You're superheroes, Virgos. And you chop this this fool, this chunk right on down. He ain't got no power. After you come off of your spiritual timeout, it's a wrap for this dude. If it ain't already. Whoa, your life is about to switch up, Virgo. Next card. Yup, chaos, drama, competition. He brought all of that. He probably had people fighting against each other. That should be loving on each other. He got everybody like confused and believing him and y'all all in a rut because of this fool. Also could be arguing and fussing and fighting going on, but he's the cause of it all. Even with the family members, friends, he causes all this drama and gets a kick out of it. So just be mindful. You're getting this fool out of your life and going on to something way much better, more better or better. More, more better blues <laughs> get them blues <laughs> not these blues those blues out of your life <laughs> okay we're moving on to the next six cards oh the tower shook and fell and blew up so yeah this is all about that of course it had to fall he wasn't tried and he wasn't tried and true so he got exposed with the true sword God ain't playing, and neither are you. So this whole tower fell because you got the truth. You see him for who he is. It's a wrap. You had to put the sword in his back <laughs> like he was doing you, and this fell because it had to. It's a wrap. Shank him on out <laughs> like he was shanking you. <laughs> now you got the sword of truth shanking him. <laughs> Go right ahead, Virgos. You're magical. You're a master magician. You got that glow. You're powerful. You got that glow. Rhythm of elevation. So you got that super superhero Bruce Leroy glow all over your body. And so doing karate. <laughs> this is the most powerful magician in the deck. And this is you using your magic to break free and do what you knew to do, get what you deserved in life, using the truth as what you needed on your side to expose this fool, got what you needed, became clear in your spiritual hibernation, spiritual time out, came out of it. After this fail, you need to go into that. You need the truth, you need your magic because you're gonna start over a new life and this will be over. And you're going to have fortune in your favor. All right, next cards we got. Got them upside down. Seven of Pentacles. So, yep, this is all about not seeing your worth in this relationship that you're in, that you were in. You can't see your worth in this. And this is why I had to fall. This is why you had to use the true sword to get this fool and this drama and chaos out of your life. They don't belong. And these are tests, spiritual tests for a time and a season to where, you know, we're learning our worth and what we truly deserve. And none of this is it. So the tower falls and the truth prevails. And then this one can go to H-E-L-L. -L. <laughs> I don't wish nothing bad on nobody, though. So, you know, this is all about learning, even on their end, because karma takes care of everything. 
and I like I really don't wish ill on anyone. But the truth is, y'all, the truth is true. So karma is real. So those who thinking karma is not, and you can do whatever you want. Au contraire, mon frère, you will find out. And this is about learning your worth because you deserve to know your worth on this earth. Okay? Next card we got. Oh, we had those. Those are the other cards, right? Oh. Okay, next card we got is temperance. So this is all about marrying your divine masculine, your divine feminine, becoming whole, becoming in center, in alignment with the creator, and all that is... This is how you do that. That's the only way to do it is your spiritual connection. Take time out. Give yourself the solitude. Reconnect to God and your higher self and become who you really are. The master magician, magic manifester, creator like the creator of creation. So use your power. Not only do you have your own power, spirit is giving you fortune in your favor. You can't lose. You're a supreme winner, and you got that glow. You're powerful. You got that glow. Rhythm of elevation. Yeah, y'all doing it. Next card, we got Virgo. Oh, my God. You're going to your best life ever. Supreme divine protection and connection through and through. This could be retirement. This is the love of your life. This is the completion, the graduation. This is the we did it, baby. We did it together. I love you deeply. I can't love you more than I can. I, I love you more than I ever thought I would be. Like, for me, I have loved past what I thought I could love like I'll surpass that love with my queen before she like when we were together I loved her more than I thought capable to love someone and this is what that is it's like you're gonna love beyond boundaries and levels that you didn't even realize were there <laughs> it's th that kind of love it's that kind of love where it just takes you even further and further beyond boundaries and levels that you didn't even realize you needed to be touched and like massaged and that one will do that for you this is your one this is your life after this tower pain struggle strife this fool is out of your life and that's what you had to do you got reconnected with spirit and all there is. And this is how you got your power. After the tower, this is who you truly are. A superstar. And spirit is going to bring fortune and favor right to you. You don't have to do a thing. You already did it. Last two cards. Whoa! The most powerful in the deck, the leader, the one who says, that's it. He can slam his fist down. He can say it silently, but it is what it is. And he makes the last call. So if this is you, you're a powerful leader in your own life. And you are attracting possibly an emperor in your life. After this fool, this is a total upgrade. <laughs> this is super duper spiritual blessing upgrade to make this fall and you be like <laughs> this is everything this is all this is the emperor and this is your new foundation holy smokes you're about to have a new complete life with an emperor holy smokes and this is fortune in your favor by the hand of god giving you an emperor empress wants you to see your magic your true power what you deserve truly through and through is straight beauty a new life is yours and that new life is the will of fortune with your emperor divine masculine divine feminine at its finest holy smokes what a beautiful read y'all after this spiritual timeout, get ready for the best life ever <laughs> you're moving on from a chump to the best life you can ever imagine like a love of a lifetime destiny love of a lifetime by the hand of god it's going to be super magical and everything you can imagine and more so blessings y'all appreciate y'all rocking with me blessings blissfulness 
Peace and love. Bye, y'all. Confirmation. Message. <laughs>